Welcome to a new daily top ask Reddit video. Today's topic. People of Reddit who survive on less than 8 hours of sleep, how? I remember one time in my life where I woke up feeling fully refreshed and I've never forgot that. Moment ever since. Naps make me feel even more tired than I was before sleeping. But there was this one nap one time that I woke up feeling the most refreshed I've ever been after. Sleeping in my whole life. Never been able to replicate it. You probably woke up once at the end of a cycle. Try figuring out what's your ideal length for a nap, you will feel so much better. Power naps are awesome. I usually get somewhere between 5 to 7 hours sleep. There is a constant feeling of tiredness but at some point you just learn to ignore it or get used to it and carry on. So agree with you. I got caught up in my career for a while and was getting 3 to 4 hours a night at most. Really messed up my sleep patterns. When I finally slowed down and could get 6 to 7 it felt so much better. I wonder how I would feel if I got 8. The difference an extra hour or so makes is huge. Before COVID and working from home my commute to the office would be 1 to 2 hours each way and I was getting 4 to 5 hours sleep. Once lockdown and WFH started I would get up 20 minutes or so before needing to log on to my work. Laptop and that extra 2 hours of sleep made me feel so much better. I can get 8. If I go to bed early I just wake up sooner. At least it's a natural wake up instead of to an alarm. Step 1. Ignore all the cries for help your body releases. Step 2. There is no step 2. Did you forget the crippling caffeine addiction that just makes you tired but faster? Nicotine. Caffeine and hate. Ah. I found my people. Adapt. Improvise. Overcome. Slowly die of exhaustion. This is why I had a heart attack at 32. I'm not overweight, non-diabetic. My ventricular arteries were stretched out so thin due to stress and exhaustion. It's in my post history. This is not the way. The shit I deal with now because of that has ruined my body. Work-life balance is so important. It's weird more focus doesn't get put on that. Hate myself. Decide I'm going to bed earlier tonight. Fail. Repeat. It's cute when we think we're going to go to bed earlier, right? I'm constantly in a state of delusion. Well, sometimes I go to bed earlier to be good. Those are the nights where I toss and turn for two hours. Get bored and start browsing Reddit on my phone. And sleep even later than I would have. Gotta love getting even less sleep but without even the slight solace of having made progress. Through a show or game. Research revealed that around 3% of people are what is known as sleepless elite, meaning they can function perfectly normally on as little as 3 to 5 hours of sleep. It's an everyday superpower that I wish I had. Sadly my mother seems to have the gene but not me. HTTPS www.bbc.com slash future slash article slash 20130320 dash can dash you dash get dash by dash on dash less dash sleep. I'm whatever the opposite of this is. I require like 9 to 10 hours of sleep just to not be a zombie. I got 6 hours of sleep the other day and I was very literally nodding off at work while standing up. I hate it. I'm tired constantly because 10 hours of sleep is so unreasonable. Edit. Hey. I think I might have sleep apnea. Guys lol but for real I really appreciate everyone's tips, advice, and personal stories. There's a lot here that I never thought to look into before. As soon as it's financially viable for me to do so, I will see a doctor and get a sleep study done. Thank you for showing so much concern and care for an internet stranger. Blue Heart. I have a co-worker who is a cleaner in a psych hospital who is 50. Only works nights and says she only sleeps 3 or 4 hours a day. Don't know how she does it. My boss is like this. He's around 50, goes to bed at 10 to 11 p.m., wakes up at 2 to 3 a.m., starts working. Everyone in the company knows that is mandatory to check your email re at the start of the day. Because the boss sends stuff during the night. Somehow he's the most energetic guy I've ever met. I boomerang all my late night emails is to not come off as deranged. They will just be like, wow he sends emails exactly at 7 a.m. every time. So consistent. Quote. Team 6 to 7 hours here. It's totally normal for some people. Lol. Went to bed one hour earlier two days back. The reaction of my body? Wake up one hour earlier and now you can't sleep anymore, have fun. Quote. The best is when I stay up a couple hours later on the weekend but still wake up around the same time I do to get ready for work during the week. You just stop caring about your health. That's how, right? That's a problem for future me. Fuck that guy. My future self will be very disappointed in me, but jokes on him, I'll ruin his life. Six or seven is good enough for me. I feel fine with that much sleep. I used to sleep nine hours a day. Whenever I sleep six or seven, I feel like a zombie. Getting inadequate sleep every day is a matter of normalizing misery. You get used to it and it becomes the default state. You acknowledge you are miserable, but you are able to cope with it. 
Sunlight is like caffeine in my veins. Can I borrow some of that mutant DNA you have? I can sleep 4 minutes or 40 hours and I'm dead every morning regardless. This is really what it was. I spent years sleeping 14 hours because I was always tired. I had a kid then just said fuck it 3.5 feels the same. Caffeine. Caffeine doesn't even do it for me anymore sad face. Can I suggest methamphetamine? More.